Hey guys, I have some awesome news. If you want to win a free Robux gift card, make sure that you use the star code MATRIX whenever you buy Robux. I'll be giving out gift cards on literally every video. And if you want more than just one, go onto Twitter and tweet at me proof that you've used my star code for bonus gift cards. Be sure as well to leave a like and subscribe. And now let's get on into the video. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Driving Simulator today on the channel. I hope you guys are all having a great day. Today we are doing, of course, another episode of poor to rich and in today's episode of poor to rich I actually as you can see have done a lot of work off camera I actually read a bunch of your comments in the last video the one that we did uh, basically it was a version of tag we called it manhunt pretty much if you guys didn't see that I would really 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 recommend you go watch that video it was a lot of fun I had a couple of other people in that video as well and they tried chasing me hunting me down and it was actually a really intense and exciting video one that I, I'm really actually really proud of so I'll put the link down below for it Give that video a watch if you guys get bored uh, or if you guys have nothing else to do I really would recommend it But anyways, you guys made a lot of comments from that video saying oh my gosh matrix made so much money matrix is grinding and uh, Yeah, I've been grinding guys I told you I wanted to grind this game out and I wanted to do everything legit and as you guys can see We have half a million dollars right now Which is literally just on the border of being able to get the Aventador, but I actually actually have an idea we're gonna do some car shopping today and I don't know what I'm gonna buy actually because here's the thing with this series if I keep buying the better car next is gonna be the Aventador right and then after the Aventador is probably gonna be something like a Conan Seg let's just let's just take a look so we go to the cars and next I'm gonna get this car right here the Aventador after this I'm gonna have to buy something else that's better than it so we're looking at probably the Pagani or or maybe this Porsche this Porsche is really fast holy and if we do that then I don't really have a whole lot more to get after that we have some cars up here that we can buy but besides that we're we're almost done and I don't know about you guys um but I kind of want to keep doing this series I want to keep buying more cars and just expand the inventory so let's take it a little easy let's get off the gas a little bit and let's buy something different something that is still an upgrade but isn't such a big upgrade that I'm almost Almost done the series you know what I mean so with that being said let's take a look at what we can afford I have about half a million dollars and let's see what's available a Ford GT is not always an option 600,000 uh, an Aventador would probably be better the handling is a little bit worse but when we're talking about a better speed and acceleration I think it's worth just getting the Aventador I mean the handling is 5% better but like, let's be honest everybody kind of wants speed in this game another option that has been been heavily 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 suggested was the McLaren 720s let's do a quick comparison because this car we could buy right now it's actually not expensive 315,000 it's double the price of the Dodge Viper the one that we currently have but it is significantly better so let's take a look so the two cars we were heavily considering was the Aventador and the 720 the Aventador has a top speed of 217 the McLaren has a top speed of 212 the Aventador goes 0 to 60 in 2.6 seconds. The McLaren does it in 2.9. Uh, handling is also significantly better as well than my Dodge Viper. You know what? I think we're going to buy this car today. And I know some of you guys are saying, Matrix, why don't you just save up and get something better? Well, do you guys want this series to be over with that quickly? Because if we do it that way, I will pretty much max out in a couple more episodes. So let's buy this instead and let's have some fun instead of just constantly grinding upwards. And this also gives us an opportunity to buy other fun cars in the future as well. There is a lot of really interesting cars to buy, like this for example. Uh, so I kind of like doing it this way. So we're going to get the 720S. It's still an upgrade. It's going to be pretty awesome and uh, let's give this a try because this is a significant upgrade for us. Also before we do that, let's do some customization here. So. I also mentioned before that the one game pass that I did allow myself to buy was the uh, unlimited colors because look at how many color options you get this way. There is a lot of really, really good options. So I thought, you know what, this doesn't affect my gameplay. Let's let's just buy this and see what it's like. I think I'm going to go with like a cherry red uh, for my McLaren 720S. I kind of like this look. And then what do we got secondary colors? So this is going to affect a lot of stuff. I think we will go, we could go like completely black, but I think we'll go like like a little bit of a graphite gray something like that kind of looks nice uh, for rims these definitely don't look too great we could go with white or we could go with like a dark dark black 
This is a pretty iconic look, but I don't know if I really like it all that much. I feel like I use it way too often, so we'll just stick with this kind of silvery look. Uh, as for gloss, gloss is actually fine just the way it is, and then we're gonna get some really dark tint. I always like the dark tint, so there we go. There is our McLaren 720S, guys. Let's take a look at it. Unfortunately, this means the end of our beautiful, beautiful Dodge Viper. We've done so much together, I've gotten so much better at using it, and this has really been the first like really good car that I had in this game it's sad to see it go honestly I really was excited when I first got this but you know we got to go upwards and onwards so let's actually do one quick comparison of the two cars so we have uh, two cars here we have the Dodge Viper top speed of course capped at 200 miles per hour a little bit on the slow end acceleration extremely good at 2.6 seconds handling and brakes pretty bad at 50% 720s uh, top speed 12 miles per hour faster, uh, acceleration 0.3 seconds slower, and handling way better. 20% in both categories. This car is a massive, massive upgrade, guys. I'm actually really excited because this is really like our first like supercar in the game. So this is really cool. Uh, let's get off this this kind of area here. I had to find areas in the game now, guys, that I don't get like constantly chased around in. So now expect some pretty uh, creative starts to my videos because I have to find new areas all the time. But yeah, I'm actually really happy about this purchase. I think this was the right car to buy and uh, I'm actually already sick and tired of this red color. Let's get a different color and let's take this thing on a track, I guess. There we go. Okay, I'm digging this blue a lot more. This just fits way better guys. Woo! I like this color a lot. Okay, let's do it. Hey, and if you guys are still enjoying this series, guys, definitely make sure to leave a big thumbs up on it. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, any suggestions that you might have, let me know them in the comment section down below. This blue looks way better, but let's try our first race of the day with our new McLaren 720S, and let's see how we do, guys. All right, first race of the day, we've got quite a competition. We have somebody in a Pagani, so... Yeah, yeah, there's that. <laughs> That's gonna be kind of hard to race up against, but this is my first race with this car. I literally have not even driven it around to get warmed up yet, so I'm just gonna hope that I don't do terribly right now. Um Whoa, 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 bad turn into that, but that's okay. This car definitely brakes a lot better than the Dodge Viper, and that to me is just so, so refreshing because the Dodge Viper has some pretty bad brakes, to be honest, and the handling also really isn't all that impressive either. So, yeah, this is just better in every category. Everything except acceleration, but, you know, when you're talking about, like, 0.3 seconds difference. I mean, it's it's big, but I don't really notice it all that much. Not when like the top speed is this much higher. Um, now that the top speed is so much faster, it feels like this car is actually a lot quicker than the Dodge Viper, regardless of the acceleration. So still pretty dang good. Um, I think we're gonna get third in this race here. Definitely the other two cars were uh, pretty dang good. I mean, we, we, we lost to a Pagani and I think an Aventador. So yeah, you know what? You win some, you lose some. Third place against those guys, I don't think is really all that bad. Oh yeah, word of advice, log into this game every single day. If you guys want to like maximize how much money you make in this game, if you log in every single day, you are more likely to get a lot of free money because there's a daily login bonus. And on the fifth day, I think you get like 40,000. So just a friendly reminder to log in every day when you get the chance. Also, people keep mentioning this and I'm going to just address it now. I don't know why my speed is in kilometers per hour. Okay, a lot of people were mentioning this. I don't know how to change it. I don't know. So yeah, people have noticed like Matrix, why is everything so much faster for you and stuff like that? Because apparently my speed is in kilometers per hour when everyone else's is in miles per hour. Dude, I don't know why it is. Okay. I wish I did, but um, my speed is just set to kilometers per hour. It might be because of where I live or something. I don't really know. If you guys didn't know, I live in Canada and we do kilometers per hour, not miles per hour. So we drive in kilometers, right? So things are a little bit different for us. Um, but anyways, we're doing the around the world because this is really the one race that the Viper could never win because at 200 miles per hour guys The Viper was significantly uh, worse than everyone else driving uh, The Aventador is still a little bit better. I could have bought it, but I'm, I'm glad I didn't I'm glad I didn't because I still need to be able to get it later and I'm excited to be able to get it later as well So and as you can see right now, we're actually versing two Aventadors and you can see like I keep up a lot better than I did in my Dodge Viper I don't think it's necessarily impossible to win against Aventadors. I think you just have to race better than them um, This guy in his Aventador, he's pretty good uh, But we did beat the the white Aventador that I was kind of 
head to head with for a while there. So clearly this isn't that bad. It really does come down to the racer. Um, this guy is pretty good, so obviously his car is also better. I'm probably not going to win this in any stretch of the imagination. But that's okay, second place is still going to be mine, and I will gladly take it. Um, not too bad, not too bad at all. I never thought I'd be able to get closer to first place uh, with a new car, and that is good to see. I'm happy about that. Because as you guys remember before, oh, dude, this, this Dodge Viper looks just like mine. Oh, man, the feels. I honestly still love the Dodge Viper. I'm just going to say hey to everyone here. Yo, shoutouts to everybody in the chat. Look at this. Everyone's saying hi. Uh, shoutouts to all of you guys. I'm going to make sure that you can see yourself in the video. You guys are really, really awesome. It's, oh, man, this community is so great. I've been loving driving simulator so so much guys shout outs to everybody here i love to see this let's get into this race guys hopefully we can pull out with second place again look at this lineup man aventadors aventadors pagani even the pagani is likely going to win this unless they make a big mistake so i don't know what we're gonna do everyone's been mentioning my speed and like matrix how are you going so fast i'm i'm not don't worry okay it's not like i have some sort of hacks enabled for some reason my speed is just in kilometers per hour and if you guys didn't know miles per hour is different than kilometers per hour so when you talk about miles per hour you can go 0 to 60 uh, for kilometers it's 0 to 100 right so obviously it looks like I'm going faster but honestly I'm not I'm going the same speed as you guys are it's just in a different metric for some reason I honestly don't know why or how oh the Aventador rode onto the side how did he survive on that wow that was nuts you guys saw that the way he drove on the rail and still picked himself back up that is pretty impressive, man. Good for you. This is the guy that beat us in the last race. So, wow, he's pretty good. He's pretty good at handling that thing, that's for sure. I'm actually curious on how the handling is. Oh, no. What was that? I'm actually really curious to see how the handling is uh, of the McLaren versus the Aventador. That sucked, dude. I had third place in, or fourth place in the bag, and then it just glitched me out. So, bit of a bummer. Uh, good news, a lot of the people in this server seem to be fans, which means I can probably organize a pretty cool race. So let's go start another race, something different, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys there. Hey, look at this. I said, you guys want to do Into the Mountain for my video, guys? Everybody says yes. Awesome. That is so awesome, man. These are my favorite servers right here. You guys are the best. Let's get this going. We can have up to eight people in the Into the Mountain race. Let's do it together. I'm almost at 200k again, by the way. So for everyone saying, why did I buy this car? I I'll make it back. Don't worry. I'll make the money back. We'll, we'll, we'll get the, the Aventador eventually, but I'm actually really enjoying this car. What is that? That's a Lambo. I know that. I, I've played with it in, in another game, but what Lambo is that? Holy. Okay, we're going to do this race. I feel like I actually have a good opportunity to win on this. Okay, so that guy clearly knows a lot of areas. Look at this shortcut. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I didn't know this shortcut existed. This is a great one, actually. Um. Oh, God. Wow, it's hard to handle, though. Very, very tough to handle in that environment, but yo, that is a pretty cool shortcut to be honest with you. That guy's Lambo though, that yellow one, that was so sick. Oh, he just crashed too. Oh, and oh god, okay. Oh god. I'm not used to driving this car. Like, the Dodge, it's easier because the top speed is lower. This car is actually very, very hard to drive in this environment, so we're gonna have to practice quite a bit. Um, oh, here's my opportunity to overtake. Let's go. Hopefully we know about this lip. Hopefully he doesn't. Oh, he crashes again. Let's go. There's that lip. We've managed to not hit it this time. Very good stuff. Okay, we're gonna have to slow down for that. Um, just keep it moving. Keep it moving. This is a, a pretty good race to test your skill. It's not as easy as the uh, around the world one where pretty much it literally just comes down to like what car you have. This one is actually all about skill, all about preparing around those bends. If you can't hit those bends at the right speed, then you will likely not win this. So, I like this race. This is actually one of probably the most balanced races in the game because it really doesn't matter what car you have. It does just matter about how good you are at handling these corners. Um, so of course, I feel like I'm doing pretty good. As you can see, the competition is stiffly behind me, but I don't think that they have the opportunity to take me yet. Uh, let's go, finish strong, here we go, and boom, first place, 8,500. Dang, dude, yo, that's a sick reward. Okay, let's do the um, Northern Rally race, and then we'll probably wrap up the video there. Let's do Northern Rally, everybody, see how many people show up. Look at this Lambo, though. Yo, look at it from the back. Oh, man. I forget the name of it, but it looks sick. And this guy, he decided to switch up his cars, use something a little bit more fit for the race. I don't know what exactly that is, but uh, I bet he knows what he's doing. The way he switched up cars like that, I bet he knows what he's doing, guys. 
So let's go. Let's get this going. We've got a lot of competition here. We should get a pretty good reward actually if we can manage to win it. I'll see what the first place person gets anyways. Um, but yeah, let's see what we can do here. Definitely got to be a little bit more careful because this is, I guess, in the name. It is a northern rally. Uh, so I will only assume that this probably means that there's going to be a lot of twists and turns. So let's be careful. Let's be focused. A lot of people behind me right now. Don't want to make any giant mistakes and then ruin it for myself. There's that guy going when he made that switch. He is doing pretty good. That car looks really, really comfortable for this race. Very small and nimble. I think it's probably what you want in this type of environment. Um, oh god. Okay, here we go. We're gonna have to go pretty hard around these corners if we want to keep up with him. Pretty hard. You gotta be pretty uh, dangerous. You gotta push the limits. Push the limits. Push the limits. Oh, right into the wall. Oh no, he overtook me. Dang it, dude. This is such a tight race. Okay, let's see what we can do. Uh, his car, man. I think that thing has like 100% handling or something. That is just whipping these corners. Oh my lord. I can't even go nearly his speed around those corners. That car looks perfect for this race. I'm just gonna say that. Holy smokes. Look at him go. It's just zipping around. Not a care in the world. Okay, here's our chance because we have a lot of acceleration. Let's make sure if we can pull together. Go for the race. Go for the jump. Oh, there's the jump. There's the jump. No, no. Flip, flip, flip. Come on, car. Flip. There we go. Good stuff. Good stuff. Are we going to manage to get first here? Hold on. What is this? Yo, we got first two times in a row. That's insane. I'm actually really gassed about that. Holy smokes. First place, another 8,500 in the bank. Yo, this went really, really well, guys. Holy smokes, man. Wow. Awesome stuff. GG, everyone. That was intense. Good race. I have to say, I thought I lost it when I made that flip off the ramp, but hey, that was really fun. And honestly, today was a very good episode. Tried a lot of different races, met a lot of cool fans, and of course, bought ourselves a McLaren 720S. Guys, if you enjoyed today's episode of Driving Simulator Port to Rich, make sure you show some support on it. Leave a like, subscribe if you guys are new. I do lots and lots of Driving Simulator and lots of car games in general, and I'd love to have you guys be a part of the Trickster Army. So make sure that you guys, of course, leave your like down below. I'm doing some pretty insane stunts right there too. What the heck? Anyways, thanks so much for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you all in the next episode of Driving Simulator. Take care everybody.